One advantage of having a 16 inch uh, Newtonian with an open tube, apart from the obvious one, is that you can uh, get right inside and and clean the, clean the mirror without having to take the mirror out of the tube. Um, a 16 inch mirror weighs quite a bit and there's always a chance of accidents um, when taking the mirror out, but um, there's plenty of space in the tube to reach down and and get the mirror uh, uh, cleaned. Um, what I do is I uh, get this. Uh, there's a you get a bottle, a um, trigger spray bottle. Uh, make sure the original stuff's out of it because um, that's uh, some sort of multi-surface cleaner for kitchens. And it might damage the surface of the of the mirror, the coating of the mirror. So make sure it's been well cleaned out. Uh, put tap water in. Uh, fill it to the top and um, put a, a squirt of detergent or, or washing up liquid into the bottle and give it a good shake and then spray over the mirror uh, until it's saturated uh, and do the same with the, with the secondary mirror as well um, and uh, after that, I won't go in just now but what you do is you uh, get these little uh, um, cotton cotton pads, this shape cotton, cotton pads and slightly, with slight pressure uh, go from the centre of the mirror in uh, don't press too hard uh, just uh, just the, more or less the weight of the of the cotton pad and uh, go from the centre down from 6 o'clock right round to 6 o'clock again lightly, lightly wiping the mirror um, uh, as you go and as you go slightly Rotate the this, the the pad uh, as you as you go round, um, and uh, every quarter way round, uh, get a new uh, pad or or uh, pile of pads, and just keep slowly going round, uh, just lightly going over the surface of the of the mirror, and then when you've done that, uh, go back and give it another going over with the trigger spray with the with the tap water and detergent and uh, just uh, do the same, repeat the same again uh, and with the and with the, uh, the, the secondary as well and then what you do is you go to Halfords or any similar shop like that and get some ionised water uh, distilled water, ionised water uh, put it on a trigger spray um, this this is a trigger spray I bought, I never had, never had anything in it originally so I only use it for for doing this this job um, and what you do is you go round and just squeeze the mirror, give it a good soaking, uh, and uh, just keep going until the the bottle's empty. And then what I do is I fill it up again and go round it all again, make sure it's saturated, um, so it gets rid of all the detergent that may be on the surface of the mirror any impurities in the in the tap water and of course the same with the with the secondary just give it a good give it a good squish so, and that uh, cleans all the stuff off and uh, hopefully when it dries it won't be drying with any any stains or anything um, so there's no uh, there's no um, air fans in the in the bottom of this telescope so it can't do any damage, it just runs out the back and uh, in use, especially in central Scotland where I am the, the mirrors the mirrors get damp anyway with dew all the time so um, the, the mirrors were actually um, getting getting quite uh, grimy I live uh, next to a farm road and when, it dr when the road dries out when the tractors come up, big clouds of dust goes over everywhere inside my observatory. So that's uh, so. This is an easy way of just cleaning the mirrors without taking it out of the without taking the primary out of the out of the tube, which is a bit of a bit of a hassle. Anyway, hope that's I hope that's uh, helpful to anybody else that's got a, a large open tube telescope. Um, I think if you've got a 14 inch um, Dobsonian in this system you may still manage to do it this way but I think uh, once you get down to the 12s and the 10s it may be a bit narrow and you've no uh, you've no choice but to take the 
the mirror out of the out the tube. But of course, uh, the smaller scopes are lighter and less chance of anything going wrong. So hopefully that's uh, helpful to anybody. Um, good luck.